Hey everyone, today we're going to be learning about carbohydrates, also known as sugars. Uh, how do you know you're dealing with a carbohydrate? Remember, a carbohydrate is a uh, biomolecule. It is also a macromolecule. It's a macromolecule because it's made up of these monomers, these building blocks called monosaccharides. They are linked together to form a polymer called polysaccharides. So what does the monosaccharide look like, the building block of sugar? What does that look like? First of all, sugars are composed of carbons, hydrogens, and oxygens. All right, you've got carbons, hydrogens, and oxygens. That's the formula for uh, sugar. And not only that, but what you should realize is that there's a one to two to one ratio of carbons, hydrogens, and oxygens. What does that mean? Well, there are different sized sugars. Some sugars are small, like three carbons. So for example, a three carbon sugar like glyceraldehyde would be three carbons. And remember, there are twice as many hydrogens, so there's six hydrogens and three oxygens. That would be glyceraldehyde. Um, there are five carbon sugars. So that would be C5H what? H10. O5. That's ribose, for instance, okay? And then it, you, there are many different sized sugars. Like I said, you can have a six carbon sugar. Uh, that would be C6H12. Do you see the common thread here? O6, C6H12O6. You always have twice as many hydrogens as carbons or oxygens. Uh, C6H12O6 is glucose. Um, and again, how do you know you're dealing with a carbohydrate? You got C's, H's, and O's, and a one to two to one ratio. Uh, these sugars can be different lengths, and that is the general gist of it. Uh, that's a carbohydrate for you. We're going to go into more details about carbohydrates, uh, but again, uh, that's all I have for my intro here. Uh, please like, subscribe, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks again.